I'm Katie Gorsuch and I'm here with Julie DeMasso in the Department of Speech Pathology and Audiology and she's going to give me a tour of the department today. So um, thank you Julie and let's go explore. Sounds great. Um, so when you come here off the, the elevators to our main lobby, if you turn to your right, you're going to, excuse me, um, we have our clinic lobby right here where clients can come in and check in for their appointments. And starting right here down the hallway, we have our bulletin board that's right now advertising our summer camp that will be going on for clients in the speech language clinic. We're going to have a uh, sensory group and also a language and communication group. All summer. right, cool. You're okay. All right. And as we come on down the hallway here, you will see um, all these framed um, lists of names. These are all of the graduates from our master's program. So if you come here for graduate school, your name will live on in the hallway till the end of time. Awesome. And we will pop down this hallway right here. This is the observation hallway for our clinic rooms. Um, Part of um, the undergraduate program is all students have to get at least 30 hours of observation of speech and language sessions. Mm -hmm. And so that this is where the observations take place. So I'll just let you come in here. Um, ooh, loud doorway. This is what an observation room looks like. You sit on this side kind of in the dark so that you can see. And the therapy room itself has a two-way glass. So they can sit in that room and do, go through their sessions without necessarily knowing that there's anyone watching them on this side. All right, awesome. Um, this first room is one of our several materials rooms. Um, we have several cabinets with toys all the way from infancy up through we have um, one cabinet here has more resources for adults, more workbooks and board games and things like that. So we can do just about everything with our clients from birth through to the end of life. All right, cool. This is our toy room. So we have all kinds of toys for kiddos of all ages. And we also have along our far wall all kinds of materials to do fun oral motor exams to see the structures of the oral cavity. So we have tongue depressors and lollipops and tooth sets and all kinds of fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh -huh. Moving down here, um, here's actually, let's pop into therapy room, see what it looks like. I think this is maybe one of the observation side. So this is where the magic happens. It's just a pretty, uh, empty room, we've got tables and chairs, and this is where we would actually do therapy with okay. one of our clients from the community. Great. Nice. Never been in a room like this before. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Down here, this is what we call our library. Okay. And so we have another one of our undergraduate seniors who's preparing Hi. for her clinical session Hello. later. And along the far wall, we have all of our standardized testing equipment. And we also have tons of speech and language materials, all these brightly colored fun boxes and games. So we have materials across the lifespan. We have so many things that students can learn to use and um, interact with with their clients. Awesome. So do your clients, are they recommended to you from like the hospital or how do you get your clientele? They can be. They can be referred from the hospital or from their school district. Um, sometimes parents just, you know, have that parental instinct that something isn't quite right. So we'll bring their kids in to be tested and we'll find that indeed they do have some goals that they need to work on. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. Yeah. Um, let's see. We'll come down here just to give you an idea. This would be a similar treatment room, but just for an adult client. Mm -hmm. um, just taller table, taller chairs, but same idea. All the same equipment. Yep. Um, this is our largest therapy room. We actually mm. call this the rehab room. Um, we have done, this is where we often do a stroke support group in this room. And we have a um, functional looking kitchen. It doesn't actually work, mm -hmm. but um, we can practice activities of daily living and do some cognitive sequencing activities. Okay and things like that here in our um, mock kitchen setup. All right, nice. Yeah. So is there any other type of groups they do therapy with besides like we do. that one? We have um, a new support group that just started this week called Comfort Circle. 
and it is a support group for children with any kind of communication impairment and their families. Mm -hmm. um, so that was Tuesday evening of this week. We did one of those. Um, we do have our stroke support group, and then um, we are starting a, a sensory room. We're building a sensory room here in our department that will be up and running for summer for kids with sensory processing needs. All right. So that will be very exciting. Awesome. I can't show you that yet. It's not all installed, <laughs> but all right. Next time. Soon. <laughs> coming soon. We have two classrooms on this floor. This one is for the one for undergrads, where they are diligently taking the test. <laughs> Um, this room in here, we provide workspace for undergraduate and our graduate students. So this is our undergraduate workroom. We have co a computer set up over here, and we have one of our diligent undergrad students studying right now. Hello. Hi. Um, Good. How are you? So we allow students to come in here and work throughout the day so they don't have to even leave the floor to go to the library. They can get everything done right awesome. here at Memorial. All the resources here, library, yep. study room. Yep. Very nice. Yep. We take care of them. This will be our sensory room by June. Okay. Right now it's just an empty space, <laughs> but we'll get there. So the grad students stay during the summer and they do like the clinicals and they do. things yep. still throughout the summer, cool. They have a six week term. Um, we've got just another classroom, do you want a classroom? Sure. There's one in there and it's locked, so. All right, no uh, problem. It's just a classroom. Um, we do have some posters hanging on the wall for any students who have done research. Um, or any faculty who have done research. Um, these most recent ones were a couple of our um, undergraduate honor students. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yep, and they were presented at Undergraduate Research Day here at Western. Mm -hmm. And they did this in combination with like the faculty? Yes, or the yes. Right, yep, cool. any honor student um, works with a main faculty advisor on the research that they are interested in. Mm -hmm. Did they get to present at undergraduate research day or did they just have the poster? I set believe up? these both just had the poster. Set. Okay. Yep. Awesome. These are really yep. nice. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, we have our scholarship award winners. Our department has a handful of scholarships. Um, these are primarily actually for graduate students, um, but we do display their names so they live on through history as they go on awesome. through So is there any scholarships for uh, There's undergraduate? There's actually one that I believe um, our former chair, Dr. Maureen Marks, has established a scholarship, and I believe last year we're very close to full endowment. So we're hoping to be able to give that for the first time probably next year. Awesome. Yeah. Um, is there any like student worker positions, things like that in the department? We the don't have a current base? student worker position. We have in the mm -hmm. past. It's okay. not something that's off the table. We just don't have one right now. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It looks like the Okay. Okay, so this is one of our primary, uh, our, this is our primary audiology booth where um, clients can come to get their hearing tested. Um, so they often do the clinical intake here at the table, um, get the case history and all the information that we need to get started. And then we move down here to our audiology booth. Uh, fully sound and okay, I'm going to take you into one of our classrooms where we actually have a group taking an exam today right before spring break. Uh, this is our intro to audiometry class. So it's a very hands-on class typically where students are learning to look in ears and look at eardrums or tympanic membranes, um, test hearing, all kinds of good stuff. But today is test day. So we'll take a quick look at them while they're working hard. All righty. Awesome. Oh, we love it. We love it. You guys are so enthusiastic. Yeah, they're taking this test. They do what they're told. <laughs> they yeah, are they're great. Good. 